Hello and welcome to the CTrader Algorithmic Trading School. Um, this video is mostly for uh, traders that want to start writing their own algorithms using CTrader. So um, if they're interested in, say, creating a risk management robot or an automated trading strategy or any other type of uh, automated system using CTrader, this is um, the platform you want to use if you're um, just breaking into the market of doing algorithmic trading. Mostly because uh, C Trade is probably one of the most simplest um, platforms and the small, you know, very easy to learn API. It's not very large, it's easy to learn and um, it won't confuse you straight away. So, what we're going to do is just explain the two different types of platforms that C Trader offer. One is C Algo, which is the one you're looking at here, and this is where they've created their own little development environment where you can write your code. It's very simple, it's very basic, it has no debugging. But if you're just doing very simple robots, it will get you started. Uh, later on, we'll show you how to use Visual Studio, which is a much more commercial, powerful tool for doing uh, software development. Um, and then there's CTrader. Now, their CTrader platform is, is designed for um, chart trading. It's, it's definitely you know, a, fully, a fully functional trading terminal uh, that you'd use. So this is dedicated for your trading. But you can also drag and drop robots onto this, like this one down here, and run the robots onto the chart. Um, so you may want to have, say, a risk management robot as you're looking at your charts. You can have a, a collection of, say, different type of risk management robots that you turn on and off depending on situations. Um, see algo use this is the kind of terminal you'd have if you had a, a, a lot ongoing strategy that runs, say, Monday to Friday, an automated trading robot, and you want to run it, put it on a virtual server somewhere and um, minimize it and just let it run in the background for you with your risk management robots running alongside it. So going to show you how to create a very basic uh, CBOT. So this introduction here is just for people that have never used CTrader, uh, sorry, CALGO. They might have used CTrader, but they really want to start doing algorithmic development. And where do they start? So on CALGO, you have a, a list down here of all the robots that are installed on your machine. Um, this is on a virtual server we've got here just for demonstration purposes. Uh, this window here shows you the code, that the actual, you know, your robot code. The window on the right shows you the uh, the application programmer's interface, the API. This is the like the interface between your code through the through the platform to the broker data or to the platform to draw ch for charting, you know, for drawing images and lines and stuff like that. But for getting account information and for uh, trade uh, information or for opening trades, you can access straight to your broker, submit the orders through some code that's on here. So I'll start off to create a very simple bot. You just click on the new button at the top there, and it creates one down here. Says new new C bot. So you can tap on the screen. You can call it what you want. I'm going to call it Paul's bot. Press enter. Um, you'll see now it's got a little star there. It needs it needs building because I've changed the name, and it's called the the class name is Paul C bot. That's the name of your robot. So. Very basically, it puts in some um, references to the APIs here. This is the ones you see on the right. And um, it sets up your attributes at the top for your time zone and access rights. You can have your robot so that it's sandboxed. So you can have it so that um, when you run it, it doesn't access your file system or your registry or anything like that. So here's got access rights of none. Um, OK, so at the top here, you've got your parameters. These parameters, if I add an instance, when you add an instance, it adds, if I can explain this, you have a robot, but you can have multiple instances of that robot running. So I can add, have an instance there of Euro dollar. If I add another instance, there's a second one. If I click on it, it can be, I don't know, Euro JPY. So now I've got two robots, one's Euro dollar, one's Euro JPY. They could all share the same parameters same logic of the robot but you kind of modify the parameters to suit what, how you want the robot to work you can have different stop losses different take profits or different uh, trade rules so you've got the core logic of the robot but you have different parameters so each one will run independently and maybe differently well yeah differently than the, the other one you can have different time frames as well so if i go back to the code um, you can create your own parameters so the parameters you you put in here will be shown down at the bottom when I clicked uh, down here. It says the parameter zero. That's the default parameter that they've put in there. So I'm just going to do a string. So default value, we're just going to say hello. And the data type, 
we're going to call it a string. These data types you can look up um, to learn about programming. Each each one's got a different data type. Anyway, so <clears throat> so yeah, string would be for string. So uh, the parameter name, now you need the name for it. We're going to just call it, um, you wouldn't obviously call it my string. <laughs> you just call it something like, um, I don't know, bot name. So um, then if you build that, click on that button there, it'll actually, if you open up any one of these, it'll have it in there now, bot name, hello. You can change that to what you want. You can say bot001. So you can have a unique name for the bot. So that just gives you a rough idea about the parameters you put in there. Then they give you, um, so I forgot to mention that when you create your new CBOT, um, the platform actually creates like a template for you, like a framework for you to get started. It gives you um, a class. Um, it also allows you to start off putting the parameters in. And then it gives you three methods. Um, each one of these is an event when something happens with the platform. So when the platform starts, sorry, if you start the robot, this method gets called here on start. It just gets called once, as soon as you start the robot. Uh, once the robot is running, every tick of data coming in, it gets called here. So it could be many times per second. So this would be where you would probably check indicator values and decide what to trade on, depending on what data is coming in. When the robot stops, uh, this gets called. You might want to use this for cleaning up resources, writing to files, or whatever you want to use it for. There is another one on bar. On bar means that every time a candle closes, that gets called. So if you're on a one hour time frame, that would get called every hour. So this is a very basic overview. Um, as the um, videos that we're published get more, more advanced, we're going to actually, the next one I think we're going to do is a risk management robot um, for closing positions at a certain time on a Friday. So we're going to more detail about the code. It's just to show you a, a brief overview of the platform, CTrader and Cialgo and what it can do. So that's that. It's more of a dedicated uh, for you to write your code. Also, we'll show you on a later date how to um, use Visual Studio, which is a much better development environment where you can do debugging and much more things. It's more of a commercial application and it's free to download from Microsoft. The actual, you know, if you start doing more complex code in here and you need debugging it, you'll, you'll, you'll end up pulling all your hair out. You won't ever find the problem. So you really want to use this to get started for baby steps and then move on to a more, a better development environment after that. Um, one of the other thing I wanted to show you was with Cialgo, you can put, see all the parameters coming down here, you can put multiple parameters down. So you can have many, many, many parameters. Um, it shows them in a list like that, so you can edit them. CTrader, even though it's not um, an algorithmic platform, it has a tab at the top called CBOTS. Now this allows you, there's my poor CBOT, let's drag it onto the screen. I'll get rid of that one. There, it comes up with my CBOT and the parameters. Okay, so you can, you can drag it on the screen and you can run it, but you wouldn't want to be running this your automated strategy, for example, on a VPS on your charting, because it's there's so much data coming into this. If you have a look at symbols, cancel that. If you have a look at symbols, there's so much data coming in um, that you don't want to be using those resources. You don't want to be running an algorithm on CTrader. It's mainly for, for manual trading where you're in front of the charts, but you may want to create a risk management robot, or you may be looking at the, like here, a news release just occurred. And you may want a robot that actually captures the news release as it's occurring and trails the price and gets out if the price re reverses and any logic you want to do. So you could be sat here watching, uh, you could go down to a one minute chart and you could be watching the behavior of the, uh, the data. As soon as an event happens, you can kickstart the robot. The robot will manage the trades that you've got for you. So this is where it would be useful to have um, an automated robot on your charts on CTrader is that you have a collection of CBOTs depending on the market situations and you run those CBOTs depending on what's happening. Um, so, but with the uh, CALGO, this is more of a, you know, heavy duty, I want an algorithm that does a lot of number crunch and a lot of work. And I don't want charting, I don't want a lot of data coming in. My VPS only has one or two gigs of, of RAM. I don't want to be eating up a lot of RAM, I just want to be running something very slow. So a disadvantage also of CTrader is that um, if you have a more of a complex um, so if I drag this one on, it's got a lot of parameters. You could see how the parameters are laid out there, not as neat and tidy as looking at the other one. No, it's not so bad actually. But it's not, this is one downside, is the parameter listing in, in CTrader and Ciago. It's not the best. But again, you can run them from there if you want, they give you the option. So that's it, that's a brief introduction. That's just for people that have never used the two platforms before. 
um, to show you um, what they do. So we're going to do further uh, classes later on, which could be much more, more in depth, showing you how to write code. We'll start off by a very basic CBOT using this development environment, just so you get familiar with it, because I very much doubt you're going to be starting to use something like Visual Studio, which will take a little bit of time to learn. But later on, we will go through and show you how to use Visual Studio. Okay, 